Alright, how's it going guys? We are back for some more here in uh, Exotic Industries. And last time we set up making these central processing units. And I do believe we looked this up last time. Um... And I do believe they are only used for these electronic parts. Um, yeah. There's two different recipes for it. We don't have this one yet. We only have this one, but that's the only thing they're used for. And this is what we need for lots of different things. Um, mainly right now we need it for our heavy cargo bots, construction bots... We'll eventually need them for our processing units. Um, that Spider-Tron dock we were going to look at. Artillery shells, you know, all kinds of different things. Um, I ran into one issue when doing this. Uh, one issue I see right now that I didn't notice is I'm missing one of these because I didn't do the right amount but uh anyways um plastic plastic has kind of become a bit of an issue one I kept running out of the ability to run the coal coke because it was filling up uh so I wasn't having enough of the benzol and to fix that, whenever we don't have enough benzol, the extra uh, petroleum gas will then come up here where I put in another set of the old way of doing it with coal to make plastic. So as long as we have petroleum gas, we're going to make plastic one way or another. So this should never kick on and send... Um, petroleum gas down to be burnt off unless we have completely obscene amounts of plastic but I did notice that we are getting uh, to the point where we're going to have to expand this and I've noticed that with four of these it's running these four just about right I think we could do one more um, but I think that's going to be about the right ratio is either four or five of these to four of these so I think we're just going to put in a couple more sets of this whole thing which means we actually need to start auto crafting the oil refineries soon I believe we already did the um, distillation towers. Uh, but we're going to go ahead today and work on getting these uh, parts made. I did go ahead and put in an expansion down here. You'll notice that these did grow a bit. So we have an expansion in here. There's a little bit of a gap here, but that's because the um, track if I was to put it in um, here where it normally would be um, that's too short so if I put it here it was going to end up cutting right through where the uh, robo port was and I didn't want to have to move that I do need to get my tree remover out here and just get all of this out of here um, and I didn't bother to actually set up the belt properly we'll deal with that when it's time but this is going to be for our batteries to be dropped off I went ahead and used the old ceramic here for its pickup and I'm going to go ahead and send it on over even though it's not full so it can drop off our first bunch we are going to have to expand the battery production even more up here. Um, the problem with that is 
the way I did this, you can see we're not keeping up with the amount of uh, crushed copper and iron that we need. So I started putting in a bunch of dirt over here to fill in this lake a bit. I'm going to continue to do so and then we'll build a bigger area for this over here so we can get even more batteries made. But you can see the problem is we just don't have enough copper coming in there. We got enough iron, just not enough copper. So I'm going to have to work on that, but the uh, dirt just got done. So, all right, so let's get all these turned around. So everything goes in like they're supposed to instead of out. And then we need to run these up. And we got to decide where exactly we're going to run this to. Before we start that, let's come on up here. And I guess first things first. Um, we make three of these from three batteries, two insulated wire and one CPU and it's going to be made in the blue one right now so it's going to be eight seconds and it's going to take four advanced circuits as well and to make one of these is going to take 10.667 so that means our ratio is not going to be one for one we're actually going to use these a little bit faster. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just put it right here next to it. This will be our, well, let's actually move it out. If, uh, let's see, if we keep this and I think we should be good with that. So if we did a second one here, and then another one here, that would give us three of these. We definitely would need to get more of them out there, because I'm wanting to save this area up here for the blue ones. Although this area up here, by the time we get to the blue, may be empty. So maybe we could. Uh, there's not really enough room now, though, to put them up there. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do them. I'm going to start these here. That'll give us room for two more of those if we want. And we can run them on up to there. All right. So if we go back to our recipe here. We're going to need two insulated wire. Now the thing with the insulated wire is those are made really fast. It's one plastic to two cables. And it's done in half a second. And it's going to take eight seconds to run one of this recipe that needs two. So it's going to take us one second to make what we need. So we could run about eight of them off of one thing of insulated wire. So doing it like we did here wouldn't make much sense because the machines would just be sitting there doing nothing for most of the time. So I think what we're going to do instead, I'll we'll have to see if this is going to make sense and work. But if we say we're going to go with this amount roughly, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and we need one every we can make one every eight seconds or eight yeah it takes one second to make enough to run what's going to take eight seconds to run so we can make eight of them in the amount of time so we can run eight machines off of one if we have we'll say 12 so if we put an extra set up here so if I put in we're gonna do four of them we do four of these I think that should be good And do I want to take it off of here? Uh, these use a lot of those copper wires when they're actually running. I'm actually amazed I've gotten it all caught up again. Um, I did put in an extra copper wire line down here and did a little bit of work over here put an extra thing of copper wire there and we got two extra ones for plates over there hopefully to keep up with this amount of copper wire we're going through because we do go through a ton of it over here and I'm thinking what I'm going to do is run off of this one. But I don't think we're going to need it quite as much up there as what we do everything else. So I think we're going to pull the plastic off. We're going to have it come up. And if I can figure out a way to get through this mess, uh, I can literally go down and across here and then bring this up through here. The problem is that this is going to be right in the way so we're gonna have to bring this one up one yeah that should work and then we'll have this come up past all of this and we'll bring it basically right across here I hate when it does that go and then we can bring it out on this other side have it feed in here and then we can just do that and there we go and now that'll give us those and we're gonna want our CPUs here I'm gonna put those onto the same belt so we can run those together and then we're gonna have two lines here because we're gonna have four things going in for this recipe so we'll have those two and then we'll have the circuits and the batteries going off the closer one so we'll have that on the outside and then we'll have the batteries and the red circuits go here which i'm pretty sure we can just pull the red circuits off here 
that will take care of that part and then we have this extra gap right here in the center uh, and that is perfectly placed for us to run our batteries through get our batteries up here which I'll probably change that out to a red one and then we just need to get these placed in here and we're gonna need a lot of these I knew you guys were gonna do that Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. 9 10 11 we're going to go 12 high with that. So we need to run these all the way up. And we'll have the output down the center. We will copy this whole thing here. Mirror it on the other side. Place that there. And then... We're just going to do this, so we can do this, send that over, that goes on the outside, and then one of these, and that will go on the inside. All right, so they should be bringing over all of the, where's my bots bringing over my, they're bringing the belts. What about my, they should be bringing the assembly machines too. We can go ahead and start. Uh, I can just do this. Let them go ahead and bring all this in. Just gotta place this like so. And then get the power in here. And then I can go ahead and just copy all that again, turn that around, mirror it, and make sure I get it in the right place. There we go. And now that'll place all that in there. And I just need to get, and I do not need blue ones for this because this is like three every eight seconds or something so we can just use regular yellow inserters for this and go ahead and set our recipe for the electronic parts And other than the fact that I ain't got that one in there yet, there we go. That takes care of that. And then just a little bit of power right up through the center. And we are good to go. Once they get everything in here and built, we should be able to make our first few here. Just like that. And there we go, we are making our electronic parts. And now we can run these down. And I need to get where they can bring me the stuff that I need. Um, but we, 
probably just thinking I may not even need to use a red belt for that I might be able to use a uh, yellow belt for it but we'll go ahead and just run that right down along this side here I'm pretty sure that might be fast enough. We'll see if it is or not. I may need to change that over, but they can change it over pretty quickly. Just give them an upgrade thing. And now we can get this into here. And make sure all of these are turned the right direction. And yeah, that'll get that done. And then it's already set. We just don't have a place for it to drop off yet, but that's going to get dropped off over here, up here, in this area. And, uh,. We'll then have our electronic parts and we can get started on making the construction bots. Oh, and I need one of those right there. And it looks like okay, we've got everything built in here. It does look like we're not getting the uh, red circuits in fast enough from this one single set here, which makes sense because it's having to run two different ones. So I'll probably have to build a, another one of these over here. What I may end up trying first is putting in a buffer so that these can run more often. Because I don't know that we're going to need them running that often. That we may be able to let these run longer and fill up a buffer. Um, but we'll see. And what I might want to do actually is connect these two up. Even if I put in a third one, I may want to connect all of them up to where they go into this for the train and then let them send their excess up to the top. That way all three of them can get the train full and then whenever they're not running for filling the train then they can work on getting the parts done but I'm guessing we're going to be using these parts for a lot of things uh, yeah advanced mining drills advanced distillation tower the assembly machine 3 is going to take advanced motors and electrical parts so yeah we're going to need a ton of these advanced labs bio chamber Oh, the computer science thing is going to need those. Yeah, we're going to need a butt ton of these. So yeah, I'll go ahead and put at least one more of these in over here to help keep enough of those running. And it looks like we're supplying all of this with everything it needs it's just the amount of time that it takes for these to run is what's holding us back so I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade the amount of red circuits we're making I may even actually double the amount and put in two more of these over here which means we're going to need even more plastic. 
So I think next time we're going to work on the plastic processing stuff, getting more plastic in here and getting more oil refinement done, possibly looking at breaking down some of our, uh, like kerosene because we can do um, if we look at oil, we're already turning our heavy oil into kerosene. 50 of it turns into 40. And then we can crack the kerosene into light, which unfortunately is only going to give us 30. And then we can crack that into petroleum. So we may end up having to crack a lot more of that down rather than burning it off. Because right now, any excess, we're turning it all, all the kerosene into diesel and burning off whatever we're not using. We may need to start using it to turn it into petroleum. But we'll look at that a little bit more next time. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you then, and we should be able to get started on making those uh, construction bots, the new ones, and the new logistics ones. So, these guys here, and these guys here next time and check those out a bit and then once we get those done and we check those out we'll probably start on the yellow science so we can get to our computer age so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time